houses built in the mountains. I think that's what I called it here. But the beauty of this place, I think I can't really explain much more because you know I don't think I can explain this in a very good way but if you're looking at it then you just probably just see what the surrounding is all about in Cenkateri. Like tourists, like young girls. So to avoid the bad situations when you are on board, keep all the important things in your bag, not in your pockets, only in your bag. And your bag in front of you, this way, beneath your eyes, with the wallets, money, phones, documents locked in, all the important things. And you will have no problem at all. But remember, nothing in your pockets, nothing on the back, just in front of you, the important things. Okay? Yeah, thank you. My train journey from Portofino to Levanto offers an efficient and scenic way to explore the Italian Riviera. This route traverses several picturesque towns, providing travelers with a comprehensive view of the region's diverse landscapes. My trip typically includes stops in notable locations, allowing passengers to observe local life and architecture. My journey showcases the stunning Italian countryside featuring rolling hills, olive groves, and a charming coastal village visible through the train windows. As the train approaches Levanto, passengers like me are treated to an increasingly dramatic coastal scenery. Good day, I've arrived here at Levanto and this is just one of the best places really to stay when you are traveling all the way to visit the Cenchi Terri. I mean, it's just one of the beauty of Italy, right? You get to experience the coastal side of Italy to experience what it feels like to be in the Italian vibes. So I am now here at Levanto and the next few days we will be experiencing and also exploring Cenchi Terri in a different way. I don't know what in store for me in there, but this is also my first time here at Cenchi and now here in Levanto, I'm just strolling around to see the beauty of this place. I mean, if you want to experience Italy, the coast side of Italy, you gotta try and visit Cenchi once in your life. And let's go and check out this place, the Levanto, so we can explore more and see what's to offer. We are now trying and tasting what it feels like to be an Italian here in Italy, well, especially here in Levanto, right? I do really like the vibes here in Levanto. It's quite of a bit of a laid back when you are here. A lot of people, but there are only people who are traveling and passing by this place because it's outside of a Cenchiteri. I mean, Levanto is just the first first stations when you enter the Chenki Terry. but this place is so beautiful I think I kind of like this area it's not so crowded and also not so fast in terms of people who are traveling and also there's only less of those um, cars passing by here but the beauty of this place is to relax and to see the view and also to feel the environment of Levanto. Such a beautiful way to stay here in Levanto. If you're getting yourself stuck somewhere else and if you want to stay in a places like any of those Cenchiteris, I think Levanto is just a perfect, perfect place for you. And speaking of Levanto, right, and also the prices of the accommodations here is more a bit affordable compared to Monte Rosso and some other areas. Either way around, if you get lost here, there's also an information station where you can ask questions about whether you're gonna go hiking. One tip of advice really is that when you're traveling here in Cenchiteri, you better ask the information center which one is the best place to go to, or the best time for the trains to arrive, or anything else. They're the best people to talk to and give you information. So this is exactly what I'm doing now, giving a bit of information and also so, giving a little bit of hint on how to get to Cenchiteri on an easiest way as possible. So 
so as you go and stroll along the alleys of Levanto you can never miss this beautiful beach here just across the street of Levanto it's a beautiful place where you can just relax and chill out if you get the chance to swim as well it's free for the public and it's just so beautiful here I don't think I've never seen of these places. be at the oceans right away here we go this is the best place for you to enjoy your day here at Levanto have a swim have a bit of a sunbathe and that's it just enjoy and immersed into the day here in Levanto another day here in Italy and today I'm heading to Cinque Terre and this is one of the famous UNESCO World Heritage Site and if you're traveling here you should definitely visit this place now I wake up really in the morning today just to get ready early so I can visit five of the towns here in Cinque Terre so the first thing to do is get a train ticket one day pass which costs around 18 euros and 20 cents and it varies from time to time as well we are heading now to Chagatari the weather is not pretty picking up well it's raining hoping that it will clear out the rest of the day so follow my journey today to Chagatari this is gonna be exciting I made it here to Monterosso welcome to Monterosso and behind me is the famous seas and across the side here where the train station is now Monterosso is one of the oldest towns here aside from Barnazza so they're just closer together and Monterosso is probably one of the famous places here you can visit because of the seaside area where you can lie down and enjoy the sun and the beauty of this space I mean taking your train all the way from Levanto to Monterosso it only takes you what 10 minutes ride it's a quick ride and you gotta start to try and see Monterosso itself. Cinque Terre has five towns and most of these ones are situated within the high hills of Italian coastline and that's the beauty of this place because you have five towns to visit and one of them today is Monterosso. Coffee in Monterosso is so good I mean you know with a beautiful view across the oceans here and also just a small town of Monterosso coffee is a really good way to just relax here have a bit of a drink with a coffee Italian coffee and just enjoy your day here what a good way to start right mmm amazing Whenever you are here, also in Italy, you get a chance to visit some of the nicest churches, Catholic churches here, and you can never miss them in every town. So there's always churches here that you can visit, pray, and also pay respect. One of the five towns here in Cinque Terre, I think Monterosso has plenty of spaces of accommodations here. I think this is the only towns that has so much of hotels and accommodations for tourists because of the flatland here in Monte Rosso that's the reason why when you book your accommodations you'll find a lot of availabilities here in Monte Rosso especially the accommodation and I'm telling you they're not cheap they are pricey to stay here So welcome to Vernazza. Another way you can enter Vernazza is through the train in the five towns of 
um, Sanqueterio, we call it the Cinqueterre. Vernaza is one of the oldest town here. It's also the same thing as the Monterosso. So these two of these ones are tied together as part of the oldest town of Italy and here in Cinqueterre. As you go through to the space of Cinqueterre and Vernazza, you kind of feel like you are actually walking through the old past of the medieval part of Italy. Like all these buildings here and the colors are so beautiful, it's so romantic, it's just one of a kind. This place, small area, but very, very crowded because of the popularity of the small villages here in Cinquetetti, the color and the structure of the architecture dating back from the Baroque period, the medieval times, and also to the Renaissance part of Italy. How beautiful is this place? Is. Now, there are certain parts here in Vernazza to look at for. There are famous places here that you need to see as well and look at it and also visit. Take your time here as you immerse yourself to the way the Cinquetetti is made of. Casa Torre is always on, means on top of the mountains. Houses built in the mountains. I think that's what I called it here. But the beauty of this place, I think I can't really explain much more because you know I don't think I can explain this in a very good way but if you're looking at it then you just probably just see what the surrounding is all about welcome to Vernazza in Cinquetetti so behind me are the houses which is actually built on the rocks and the mountains here in Cinquetetti as you can see, it's just so beautiful to see the colors of, you know, the Italian coastlines mixed together here. It's not sunny today, but the weather is almost picking up as well. But the beauty of this place is I kept on you know, stressing out that it's so different from the rest of the places you've seen here in Italy. Well, this is what Cinque Terre is all about. Right? If you're also traveling here to Cinque Terre, there's another way that you can access all the five towns here. And you can also take a boat to visit the other towns. But of course, if you're taking the boat, you can see the different side of Cinque Terre. But then if you wanted to just be on a rush all the time, then you gotta go take the train, which is more easier and accessible, by the way. Very here is so good because you can see a different view of the town of Cinque Terre. And this is what I'm telling you guys. Cinque Terre is gonna be fully packed if you don't wake up really early in the morning to catch and glimpse the beauty of, you know, the five towns. You gotta wake up really in the morning just to see it so you don't have to worry about crowds. Now, it's so full of people, crowded, but it's still okay. Next up is Cornelia. On the way to Cornelia. We are now on the way to Cornelia and it's one of the smallest town here as well in Cinquetetti and when you are here at Cornelia be prepared to take a lot of steps because Cornelia is the only place and the only town here in Cinquetetti that needs to be accessible by foot that means it's not really on the coastline of Cinquetetti as on the other side of the villages now this time you gotta walk so make sure you have a very comfortable shoes or hiking shoes. It's all up on the hill. So to make it easier for you, take your time to walk here, get a bit of a space, pace yourself, and don't rush to visit Cornelia because it takes a lot of steps.
We are now entering Cornelia. Basically, we are in Cornelia now. It's just a bit of a walk here from the station up to the stairs and also up to the center of the town of Cornelia. Cornelia has a bit of a different vibes to it. It's on, seated on top of the mountains of Chankateri. And also, of course, what you see here in these villages are a small, tiny isle, you know, built during the medieval periods and now still here. It's so beautiful really to be here, but we will go check the places here inside the small aisle and the pathways that brings you back in time. goes through and walks through to the aisles and pathways of Cornelia you find it very romantic as well because you know in Italy all the colors and the colors of the houses here are so beautiful like they all are the same in each villages but Cornelia has a bit of an exception because it's on top of the hill it's not really closer to the coastline in terms of Vernazza, Monte Rosso, but this place is, you gotta hike all the way up just to see the beauty of this small town. Cinque Terre in each towns have so much to offer. I mean, you can get lost in this beautiful medieval towns of Cinque Terre. Just what I said, in every town here, there are churches because of the Catholicism and also because of the religion. But yeah, it's a good way to really pay homage and respect. I made it here to Manarola. It's one of the prettiest, I think, for me. Okay, it's also one of the romantic places to visit here in one of the five Cenketeris or five towns. It's built on a high rocks here and one of the towns and one of the mountains. And such a way you see this one is that you get it from a train station and walk and then all you have to do is just overlook the towns just from above and then you see the beauty of this place. Look how stunning this place is. As you go through and walk through the town, you see different space here as well. There are places where you can buy your souvenirs and also the high rises of the architecture in this area is so beautiful that it looks like you're overlooking like a very kind of like Italian kind of a French style of architecture. But this is just a Manarola. Every villages and towns here have so much character and vibes. It is a different feel, it is a different vibes. Just so beautiful to see. And also the experience here is such a joy. Just as you can see, there are people that are still, you know, taking a dip here in the water and also, you know, you can sunbathe here with the but you can still enjoy the beauty of this place. And also look at that, people are still taking a swim in this beautiful Manarola. As I can see here, there are pathways here that leads you to the top of the hill and will give you a breathtaking view of Manarola. By the time you follow the footpath here and go straight up into the hill, you can see the beautiful Manarola just behind me in the background. As you can see, this is one of the most romantic villages here in five of the Cinque Terre here in Italy. Such a beauty to see this wonderful, wonderful backgrounds of me. I mean, come on guys, if you want to get married here, this is the best place for you. Look at that, how beautiful is that? But wait until you get up to the top of the mountains as you see the whole stretch of Manarola. Also, when you are visiting Cinque Terre here in Cinque Terre, Italy, You'll notice the houses here on top of the hills are like square boxes like that one behind me. It's because during the old medieval times and also during the Renaissance time or maybe a different period, fishermen go out into the sea and in order for them to go back to their own houses, they painted their 
houses into this color so they can actually see it far away from the sea when they finish fishing. That's the reason why the colors of Jenkateris are the same thing in houses like that. Fun facts, right? Welcome to Via de Amor. As you finish browsing Manarola on your trip here in Cenchiteri, it's necessary for you to travel and get to the next town and using this loved tunnel to travel and cross through the path of love tunnel. They said the path tunnel of love is one of the most romantic coastline here in Cenchiteri. We are now starting the pathway of love all the way from Manarola all to Reggio Mare. They said this walk is a pathway of love and it's one of the most romantic coastline walk in the whole world. Maggiore. Now we are here at Rio Maggiore. It's just so close by train from Manarola, and we're back. we're actually wanted to go the pathway to Love Walk, which is stretches to one kilometer all the way from Manarola to here. However, halfway of it, it's close, so we have to go back and take a train and go straight to Rio Maggiore. Well, this is the beauty of Rio Maggiore. It's one of the small villages as well. So you can see they all have the same aspect of the villages here. I mean, the colors of the architecture and the houses, the boxes is also situated here on top of the hill. However, this place is more a bit more commercialized. I see a lot of places here where you can eat as well, dine in, and enjoy the beauty of this place. So if you go here, there are plenty and places to see as well. It depends on what you want to do. You either want to go and dine here or in, just enjoy the moment and immerse into the beautiful Rio Maggiore. And I can't wait to show you again this beautiful town and this is what it looks like here. Welcome to Rio Maggiore. I hope I said it well or I said it right. It suddenly stopped raining. It's been raining so we have to stop filming. But we finally made it here on the five Chanky Terries. Unexplainable. It's it's so beautiful when you see it with your naked eyes and by experiencing here and also, you know, trying the best food, coffee and so many things. It makes a little bit difference. Your Italian 
escapade wouldn't be complete with all those little bits and pieces about Italy and I think that is the beauty right we travel so we can actually reach the destinations and also to immerse and experience the love beauty and the history of the country oh my god it's pouring rain finally one of the last villages and it's pouring rain i think i've explored a lot of jenkateri now